everyone, and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in these videos, we tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by simply utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, I'll be live streaming another solo play of Anastir on Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time with two heroes I've not used before, Brid and Shadu. I think I've used Brid once, but as a backup only, so I'm looking forward to seeing how each of them play. My live Q&A on Friday will probably be replaced by the end of the campaign live stream by Leo and the folks in the Paris office, so keep your eyes open for those as well. Now, we have a bit more information on a few of our projects, so let's get to them. For Joan of Arc and our North American backers, we have some good news for you. QML has finished processing the 55 pallets of stock they received from Fullex, and they received everything except the neoprene mats and seas expansions. We've already informed Fullex of this missing stock and requested that they ship it to QML immediately. QML also found no less than 30 backer orders that Fullex didn't ship out to backers. Rest assured that these orders will be shipped out immediately once QML gets the address confirmations back from the backers. For Solomon Kane today, as we reported last week that the recast Maryland minis had arrived at the hubs, we wanted to let you know today that they are ready to be shipped out. Quartermaster Logistics and Meeple Logistics are the two hubs that received the recast minis. QML will be handling the North American backer replacements to include our neighbors in the Great White North, and Meeple Logistics will be handling everywhere else, and they'll start with their own specific regions first, and then move on to covering the other hubs regions. This replacement process is in a queue with QML, so it won't happen immediately, but they have already all of the orders and will be sending out address verifications first. Once those are responded to, they will commence shipments. Meeple Logistics was able to pull the updated addresses from Wave 2 shipments from their system, so they will begin shipments as quickly as possible. Now, as a reminder, no one needs to contact us to request that this mini be sent to them. It's being sent out to all backers since it was miscast at the factory. Some good news for our North American backers of Steam Watchers. We reported previously that QML had finally received 55 pallets of stock from Folex and were conducting an inventory of the stock to make sure nothing was missing. QML can now begin processing those missing orders, which will begin shipments once addresses can be confirmed. This also means that replacement requests can finally begin for our North American backers. For now, please contact support at mythicgames.net with any replacement requests that you have. We already have some that we've accumulated and are in the process of sending them to QML right now. For Six Siege today, we want to announce that the Tabletop Simulator module has been updated with the new operator profiles that will be in the retail version of the game. The other operator profiles that have been updated from year zero will be added in June, so you'll have the Kickstarter core box contents available to you before your pledge arrives. Year one operators will be added in January 2023. As it stands, however, there are two missions available on Tabletop Simulator, a control mission and a bomb mission, both in the consulate environment. You can find links to the modules on the Kickstarter page, and they've been included in the description of this video, too. The module doesn't have a tutorial, though, so make sure that you've read the rules before jumping into it, and you can find a link to them in the description below as well. Well, if you've not already done so, I'd like to encourage you to check out our Anastir Kickstarter that is currently live and will be running until this Friday, May 6th. So, you only have a few more days to jump in and get involved. Now, yesterday we released the Caravan All-In Pledge for $400, which is a hefty $70 discount on everything that's included. With the Caravan All-In Pledge, you'll get the Core Box, all applicable stretch goals, the Avatar Box, which is free in the campaign, but it'll cost $15 in the Pledge Manager, 
the Solis expansion, the All Mother Secret expansion, the Fog of Revolt expansion, the Queen's Vow expansion, the Echoes of Absalon expansion, and the Necromancer's Plague expansion. But it'll also include the three cosmetic expansions, the backdrops, the regional terrain elements, and the boss battle elements as well. This includes no less than 38 unique and replayable scenarios and more than 269 miniatures. So it's turning out to be an awesome ride for this campaign and it's going to be an even better game. So we hope to see you there in the next few days before the campaign comes to an end at the end of this week, Friday, May 6th. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show. You just never know what Leo's going to do. As mentioned earlier, be on the lookout this week for my video on Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time to see how Brid and Shadu play together. But that's it for today, though. Once again, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>